kind of dark under there. Let's come back over here. What's up, YouTube? Yo, gang, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range. Today, we are going to talk about and make a comparison video between the Shield Plus and the new FN Reflex. Now, they both share very, very similar characteristics. One is hammer fired, one is striker fired. One has a 3.1 inch barrel, one has a 3.3 inch barrel, and they weigh almost the same. Now, with that being said, let's um, take a quick look at exactly what it is that we are talking about. All right, up first, let's do a quick clear check. This pistol is clear, and before we get any further, I don't know if I said we were in a safe and controlled environment, but we are at the gun range. Just wanna make that clear um, before we do so. How y'all doing today? Y'all good? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right, so what we are talking about today, we are talking about that Smith & Wesson Shield Plus, chambered in nine millimeter, as well as that new FN Reflex, also chambered in nine millimeter. They're both carry pistols and um, the Smith & Wesson is one also that I carry um, that is in my rotation. I enjoy this shoot very, very much. If you missed my review, my initial review on the Reflex, make sure you go back and check that out because I really enjoyed this shoot too. Now, Going into the Smith & Wesson uh, Shield Plus, it has a 3.1 inch barrel. It weighs a little bit, let me see, one is 18 ounces, one is 17.9 ounces. So the, the weight on them are pretty much where, I mean, pretty much the same. Um, the capacity on the Smith & Wesson it gives you a little bit less. Um, your uh, first magazine or what would be considered your extended magazine holds 13 and you get a 10 round magazine with the Smith & Wesson but with your reflex you get a 15 plus one um, and it's a true 15 it just has a sleeve on here so it does not have that base plate that gives you plus two and you have an 11 round magazine now looking at them side by side they are very, very, very close. It just seems like the Reflex is a little bit wider than the Smith & Wesson. And um, in length, no, lengthwise would be this way. In height-wise, the Reflex is just a tad bit shorter. But because of the extended magazine, it'll give you that extra pinky room that you're looking for. Now, the trigger on the plus is extremely great i love the trigger on this plus and they also as far as the um, fn goes they also did um a great job on this trigger i was very impressed on it when i was shooting now the aggression on the grip as far as the fn goes has a great aggressive texture which i absolutely enjoyed very much so but your slide release is a little bit short although i didn't have an issue with dropping that slide i did feel like when i was rubbing my finger my thumb on it it was uh very uh how can i say almost unnoticeable trying to get to that. And your mag release is also not as pronounced as it is on the shield. Now on your shield, as you can see, it has more of a pronounced slide release and your mag release is also a lot more pronounced. Your uh, functions and takedowns are pretty much the same. Um, takedown lever on your reflex is you know a smaller uh takedown your plus has a larger level for you to do so um as i said both of these pistols are clear ah one more thing that i just forgot okay the serrations in the slide the smith has serrations on the rear of the slide but there's really no serrations on the front so trying to do that press check or actually rack the pistol from the front is a little bit more difficult whereas in the reflex they are rear and front serrations so it's a lot easier to do that with this so there's a lot of uh give some take some if you also notice the front sight on the reflex is a fluorescent uh front sight 
And on your Smith, you have your standard um, white rear and front sights. Um, really not a big deal because the Smith & Wesson sights, although they're pretty standard, they're good sights. I don't have an issue with that. But just that extra color, in my opinion, gives you, you know, the ability to just get back on that front sight a lot easier because of the color. Now, your grip widths on your Smith, your grip seems to be a lot wider and thicker, which is not a problem. It does sit very nicely once you get high up in there and you, you know, get that nice grip. So that's not an issue, but your FN Reflex has a more slimmer grip to it. So actually wrapping your hand around that grip is a lot easier. I don't, like I said, I don't have a problem with either one of the two, but what we are here to find out is exactly how do they compare and shoot? Now, again, I just reviewed this and it shot absolutely great. I am going to put that in the, drop that on the end screen so you guys can check out this full review on this FN. And again, um, this has been on the channel for a while. So if you have not checked out this review, make sure that you go back and do so. All right, so that's pretty much all it is to it. They're both uh, compact carry pistols and they're both very good. But now, what is it do I prefer? Which one of the two do I prefer the most? All right, because we already um, took a few shots with this, let's go ahead and start out with the Shield Plus. And I am going to give you that flush magazine first. Uh, uh. And we are going to fight out. Now, flush magazine, there is minor pinky hang off, but you still are able to get a nice grip on that. And it racks nicely. So, let's get this first shot. All right, that was the 10 round magazine. Again, it's not just by shooting it again, it's not as snappy as I found it to be with the FN on the initials. Um, although it has the th uh, 3.1 inch barrel, the recoil is not terrible. So again, that slide release is great. It's easy to find. Okay, uh, it's, uh, let's move on, let's move on. We'll get back to that in a moment. All right, coming in with the reflex, the pistol is clear. We're gonna take that flush magazine first. Man, it's hot. Racked beautifully. Shot. Now, I was complaining before about not having a home for my thumb when I was shooting. I'm trying to keep my thumb on the bottom of this rail. And um, I think once I keep that in mind to keep my thumb on the bottom rail, it would be a lot easier to control. Now my hands are getting quite sweaty, so I am appreciating the texture on this grip very much. And like I was telling you, the slide release on here is a lot, uh, not as pronounced as the shield. So me finding and digging for it is a little more difficult. Put my thumb on there. <laughs> now, not sure what happened there. The magazine was filled to capacity. It looked like it just had a little bit of trouble, trouble getting onto that ramp. Yeah, the grip is a lot more difficult for me on this pistol. A lot more difficult. It's clear, 
And it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> All right. It's so damn hot. My camera ain't even having it. All right. So we are reloaded. The last one we shot was the reflex. Let's keep that under there because it's hot. Let's keep this magazine. All right. So we're going back with the Smith. We're going to speed up our shots a little bit and um, see. Uh, you let me know how it looks. Thank you. Come on, yo. What's the problem? All right, so that was a little sped up. Again, this is a 3.1 inch barrel on the Smith. And let's go in with the reflex. Now, again, the only thing that I'm, oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, what's wrong with me today? All right, again, for me, I'm just finding a little bit of grip issue with both of them. But it's not something that can't be um, dealt with. Both of the magazines load very nicely. They both feel like very good quality. And I'm kind of already leaning towards one, but I'll let y'all know at the end. Not right now. Let's get a couple more magazines together and let's run it out. I don't think I've ever had sweat to literally drip off of me. All right, let's go in with the Smith Shield Plus. I am having a terrible day at the Terrible day, yo. Oh, slide went forward. Horrible day. Anyway, Smith and Wesson Shield Plus. And let's go in with the reflex. Now, I can, well, save it, yo. I'm a little excited to give this <laughs> my final thoughts. Snappier. Couldn't find it with my thumb. See if I just extend my pinky at my thumb out. I didn't give that time to reset. day today anyway we shot equal magazines through both she's clear and let me give you my final thoughts now 
it looks like we've had a few feeding issues with the reflex um the round was spent prior the the first round or the whatever round that was that was we actually shot it actually spent that shell it just had issues um riding the next round so um in my opinion or as as what it is it i'm having a little bit of feeding issues with the reflex the faster shots that i take okay it seems like um we don't have those issues but um as far as reliability that can be a reliability issue um as far as the grip goes i enjoy this grip i just wish i had somewhere to really set my my thumb maybe if i put a tlr7 or something on here i would have somewhere to kind of like brace my thumb to keep my shots um pretty much driven to the right because like i said i found myself um shooting to the left when i was shooting the reflex the grip is nice now if i had to compare the grips with the two i think i enjoy the smith and wesson grip just a little bit more just because it gives me a little bit more space to apply my uh, support hand onto that grip to keep the shots um straight um uh, had a horrible day at the range today and um that's just how it is and sometimes how it happens um but i'm not editing anything of anything of that nature out for you because i want you guys to know that this here is organic and that's how it is okay um, capa um capacity now with the reflex the capacity is more than the shield plus you actually have 15 on your um extended magazine versus the shield plus you have 13 so if capacity is something that you're looking for then yes the reflex will give you two more than the plus now the snappiness in the reflex i still found it there it is a quite snappy pistol but again it's not a bad shoot the trigger kind of gives you the little bit more of comfortability to get on you know it makes you want to continue to shoot it because the trigger is so nice now on this 3.1 inch barrel which is the uh, shield plus um although the barrel is smaller or shorter i find that the recoil absorption is a lot better on the shield plus <clears throat> now as far as the controls and stuff goes i like the controls on the smith more than i like on the fn um like i said they're a lot more pronounced as far as the mag release goes and the slide release goes um i found myself having a little bit of issues trying to get on that um slide release on the fn but it's not a big deal if need be you just go ahead and you know rack it with your hand now the slide the slide on the smith seems a little bit heavier than on the reflex the reflex slide does feel a little softer um which i like that uh but again that's not a give or take for either one um i like them both but if i had to choose just one i would choose my smith and wesson shield plus uh again it's not anything it's more of preference what do you prefer although the reflex gives you uh, two more um two more rounds uh, as far as ma the magazine capacity goes but um i enjoyed the the shield plus more the trigger on the shield plus also is very nice this is um one of their you see here one of their performance triggers and i think it did absolutely great i enjoy oh, my nails are dirty I enjoyed that a lot but again it's all in preference if you look at them both they are pretty much the same in length um, where you know the height difference is very minimum once you add in the magazine so we're gonna put in the extended magazine on one and the extended magazine on the other it really gives you the same height for both so the only thing is the reflex grip is a lot thicker than the um shield plus but other than that remember one is striker fired the smith and wesson is striker fired and your reflex has an internal hammer fired system so it's all in your liking some people like hammer fire some people like striker fire so again they're both excellent 
um, carry options. Um, the reflex, I feel like it can uh, earn a spot or it has um, in my carry rotation. Once I carry it and see how it actually feels on the body, I'll let you know for sure, for sure how I feel about it. But um, I don't see why I would have an issue because it is still very, Excuse me. still is very tiny. Um, and that's about it. Oh, the serrations in the slide. I enjoy the serrations in the slide on the reflex more than I do the Smith because it gives you your front and rear serrations uh, for both. Now, neither one of these are optic ready. They both come with that choice uh, for you to add that on there. But again, all of this is preference. It is all preference. I enjoyed them both. They both shot very nicely. We had a few malfunctions with the reflex, but it's um, in a time to wear, uh, it's critical it could be a problem um again if you don't uh, if i had to say what the issue was i would say that the magazines were um loaded to capacity but unfortunately i can't say that because after we took uh that first or second shot that's when we had the um the issue with loading the next round so not sure i guess it's the breaking in period um but we'll continue to shoot this and i'll bring this back to you maybe about a thousand rounds later or so and let you know if we have overcome those little issues that we've had with it but as far as this goes in my opinion the shield plus has won this versus i really really enjoyed everything about this pistol um like i said even though the barrel although it has a shorter barrel the reef the um the recoil impulse is not as noticeable as the reflex so in my opinion, I, like I said, I would go with the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. Um, now these are, well, this def, it's not in my rotation as of yet. Um, this is in my rotation, but I don't go for this as much as I go for either, you know, my Sakato CS or um, my Shadow Systems as I, you know, shared that with you already before. Um, so getting that much more familiar or practicing with them, um, I haven't had too much one-on-one uh, -on -one time with the Shield Plus, but definitely um, we'll, we, we will be getting on that just because it's something that I could potentially grab in the future. Now, with that being said, Yoke Gang, what did y'all think? What did y'all see? Do you own them? Um, how do you feel about the comparison? Um, what would you have chosen between the two? Let me know. Drop that in the comments. And if you have not yet checked out www.yogangs.com, make sure that you pick up a patch or a t-shirt, support the channel. We have big things to come soon, very, very soon. We have a membership coming up. So um, make sure you guys look out for that. And Yoke Gang, y'all already know I love it when things work and I love y'all for life. Peace.